Ikaw ba ay isa sa mga taong gustong magsimula ng negosyo pero walang puhunan? Gusto mo magsimula, mag-ipon ng inyong pangkapital pero hindi mo alam kung papaano? Ano nga ba magkaroon ng kapital para sa ating pinapangarap na negosyo? So kung lahat ng yun guys ay nasa isipan ninyo kung paano ito masasagot, then this video is for you. In this video guys, gusto kong i-share sa inyo yung isang sistema na nag-work sa akin kung paano ako nakapag-ipon ng pangkapital para sa aming pinapangarap na negosyo. So by the way, if you're new here or bago nyo pa lang ako nakikilala guys or dito sa ating channel, my name is Paul and I am a mom tipinior. Sa aming channel is na pag-uusapan natin dito is all about negosyo tips, business ideas, and creative ways on how to do business. But for now, I'm going to do a little bit changes because I wanted to share with you guys some tip that really works for me. So I've been sharing to you tips on how you can manage or how you can start your own business, guys. But hindi ko pa nasa share sa inyo yung kaalaman ko kung paano nga ba makapag-ipo ng pangkapital. Kasi pagkakaroon ng kapital is very important also when you are starting a business. So for us to start or for us to know this method, I will jump in or I will be sharing it to this video na. I do believe guys na merong iba't ibang klase ng sistema na pwedeng mag-work in every type of person. And this system really helped for me at saka nag-work out po talaga siya in order for me to set or set aside na pangkapital para sa aming maliit na negosyo. So kung interesado ka guys malaman kung anong klaseng sistema ito, um, I will be sharing it to this video, so please stick around. So this video guys, it can serve as a tip, as a guide, or as an advice from me guys na nag-work out in order for me para makapag-save up ng pera. So it's more likely about finance and budgeting. This is how it works for me guys para makapag-set aside or makapag-save up. So, kung hindi naman para sa negosyo yung pinag-iipunan ninyo, then still, this system may work for you. So, please hear me out and please stick around and finish this video up until to the end. For every one of you here, alam ninyo na nag-close yung shop namin way back on March 2020 when this pandemic hit. So, ang nangyari guys is from March up until November or this month, um, 2020, nag-close po yung ating shop. So, 8 months pong walang cash flow yung ating negosyo. At nagbabayad po kami ng rental out throughout the 8 months. And before kasi nag-lockdown guys, kung baga pausbong pa lang, um, pausbong pa lang yung negosyo namin. Meaning, nakikipag-keep up pa siya. Um, with the market and introducing its name and also with the product that we are offering But after this pandemic guys, it was really a bad timing So back to zero kami ulit. So close the shop pero temporarily close lang naman um, When we do the reopening guys, we have to save up again an amount of money Kasi nga zero guys, walang cash flow um, I have to find a full-time job well, um, sa partner ko naman na si Karen, so naghanap kami ng full-time job. So even if isa lang sa amin, guys, just to keep up for the rental. Um, para lang magkaroon din kami ng savings para sa pangkapital namin kasi nga walang income yung negosyo. And for us also, wala din kaming income. So, yun nga, um, I got hired to one of the BPO company here in the Philippines. And it offered an enough salary for me to save up. So, ito yung ishishare ko sa inyo guys on how I was able to set aside ang kapital ng aming maliit na negosyo. It's all about savings and budgeting system that I will be sharing it to you right now. And to disclaim before we start guys, I just want to let you know that the amount here is not actually an exact amount of my salary kasi ayoko makipag-brag sa inyo but to inspire just to give you a little idea on how I was able to set aside um save up or about the budgeting system of mine that really works. So before we go on, um let me share to you guys the tools that I'm using. 
So the first tool that I'm using, it's an app. It's a finance budgeting app. And this is what I called Money Manager. I've been using this for about a year now um, when it comes to tracking and managing my finance. So here it is. I will also be sharing to you a different clip of the video on how I use this Money Manager. This is not sponsored, but this is definitely an app that really works for me. The next tool that I'm using, it's my journal. And I will be sharing to you this one, um, a piece of paper. Maybe I'll just screenshot here on how it really looks like para sa ating budget and finance tracker na part ng journal. So I've been working out with the journal that I really like, guys. It's a minimalist journal and I'll be showing it to you sooner. So, but for now, this is just the part where I put in in my journal about my finance and tracking. So, hope it helps. First, guys, let me share to you a clip or let me share to you guys in a video on how I do this type of finance tracker. Para may share ko sa inyo kung paano ko dinidivide yung aking pera. Kasi ito naman talaga yung purpose ng video natin. Okay guys, so this is how it looks with my budgeting and finance tracker. So if you can see, I have the first bullet here that is income. Then the next part is expenses for the fixed income. And then the variable expenses. Okay, now yung method na ginamit ko um, that I have learned from our rich journey by the way if you wanted to visit their channel you may look it up here um, itatag ko sila dito guys kasi ang, ang ganda ng mga videos nila when it comes to financial stability or being able to retire early so if you want to know more about their channel or to learn more about their um, tips guys watch their videos I have learned about them with this type of budget and financing um, tracker okay so the method that I am using is 50% of my income goes to my savings and 50% goes to my expenses so let's say for example my projected income I have income one so that's gonna be for my full time and my projected income um, around for this month it's around 20,000 for my income too it's gonna be from my YouTube so I'm expecting around 5,000 then for my income three more likely it's all about in the selling but since wala pang income yung selling sideline natin is hindi ko muna siya malalagay dyan and then the first month is gumagawa ako ng projected so yung projected ko pinaproject ko kung magkano yung magiging income ko sa full time ko at magkano yung magiging income ko for this month sa youtube the next part which is expenses I have a two type of expenses the one which is for the fix and the second one is a variable for the fixed expenses guys is meaning alam ko na yung exact amount nila hindi na siya nag-change okay yung variable is nag-change pa siya at malalaman natin kung ano ba yung category na nag-fall sa vari variable so first let's have the fixed expensive this is what i learned from our rich journey is that they have categorized the saving into pay yourself first so, ang included ng pay yourself first, meaning unang-una mong babayaran is yung sarili mo, guys. So, it comes with emergency funds and investment. So, emergency funds, guys, we've been doing this with my partner, Nick, way back 2018. Up until now, we're still doing it. Ginagawa ko, guys, meron akong goal dito. The most likely emergency funds is around 3 to 6 months of total monthly expenses that can cover for your, if ever there's anything that goes wrong let's say for example nawalan ka ng trabaho then meron kang emergency funds na mahuhutot just in case um, you lost your job okay it will be covered for three to six months but i will be explaining more about the emergency funds if hindi nyo pa alam yan and i will be sharing it in a separate video now let's say for example in our emergency funds we are starting up so for the three months of monthly expenses it will be in total of 45,000 so the goal here is I must save it in 
five months. Now, I have a balance or meaning from the previous month. Nakapag-save up na ako ng mga 5,500. So, yung kulang na lang na balance na dapat kong iipunin is 3,000. I'm oh, sorry, 30,000 pesos. Yun na lang yung balance. Now, yung i-deposit ko is, as just like I said, 50% of my income goes to my savings. That include the pay yourself, emergency funds, and investment. So, gano nga ba yung 50% ng aking salary? So, that's 10K. So, ang mag-deposit ko dyan is 5,000 for the emergency funds. For the investment, 5,000 also. Same thing guys, for the investment, I have a plan there. So let's say for example, for my investment, I have to save up 20,000. And let's say, nakapag-set up na ako already ng 15,000. Or sorry, no, nakapag-set aside na ako ng 15,000 dyan guys. So yung balance ko na lang is only 5,000 pesos. So, the deposit ko yung kompleto na ako for my investment. Then guys, yung formula ng aking budgeting, it's 50% of the income goes to savings. 50% is on expenses. So, what are my savings guys? One of that is emergency funds. And second will be the investment or pang capital ng aming negosyo. So, you have to set goal on how much you wanted to save up for your investment. Just so that you have an idea kung magkano na lang yung balance at kulang at magkano yung madideposit niya. So, 50% savings, 50% expenses. So, other than the fixed income that goes for it is we have VECO. We have 1000 we're gonna talk about the actual later on. So let's go with the, I mean, the variable, guys. What are the variable that may change? So one of that is groceries, transportation, personal care. And again, I will discuss more about on these variable expenses, guys. So let's say projected go for the groceries, it's around 4,000. Then for different transportation, since gasoline na yung gastos namin tsaka parking guys and which is since I am working from home at tsaka walking distance lang naman yung shop so hindi masyadong malaki so maybe I'm just expecting to have it around 500 pesos for the personal care it's more likely um, I can't tell for how much for the personal care but maybe I'll just budget it for so for the actual meaning by the end of the month you will evaluate your income and your expenses now and by the end of the month you will know how much is your income so ilalagay mo dito kung magkano yung full amount na nakuha mo and also here and if you have an income three then you can go ahead and put it here so this is fixed you don't need to touch anything here for the electricity guys then you can also put the actual amount now for the variable then the groceries and then the actual i will be showing to you guys the money manager on how it looks like when it comes to the end of the month and now since i was able to share with you guys yung tracker yung finance tracker ng journal ko on how i was able to set aside or how i was able to do the budgeting is let me share to you guys yung at end of the month meaning every end of the month i always check my money manager there is a certain part ng ano ng money manager that shows you kung saan banda ka gumagasto ng malaki so at least in the next month you can do um, a projected part or you can do an adjustment kung saan ka ba masyadong malaki yung nagasto mo in this month so let me share you to you that video guys but before we move on guys if you want to be part of our shout out program don't forget to like our facebook page here and follow also then if you have any businesses or any multi business that you want me to shout out here in our channel please comment nyo sa baba and then send a screenshot to our facebook page yung page ng inyong business para ma-promote natin okay guys let's look at to my money manager and i'll 
I'll go to the stats guys this is what I like about money manager because um, if you see here uh, there is like a summary of which part I am having an income or how much is my total income on a specific month and also how much is my expenses um, if you notice if you go to my income like 72% of my income is coming from my full-time job 19% it's from the YouTube and 8% it's coming from the bank balance meaning I still have a remaining balance from my bank that I'm roll over for this October October guys and aside from that if we go to the expenses it will also do some summary you notice there is here if you can see is 37% of my expenses goes to the food food category category includes to groceries eating out latte and happy hour so those are um, my category for food so most of us spend in the groceries and eating out so what are those eating out guys yung mga take out uh, bumibili ng pagkain but I'm so happy because I've spent like pay yourself first so pay yourself first is in the investment so 100% of my pay yourself first is in my investment which is capital mismo sa shop namin like um, stocks pay pay the rent so yung mga ganun um, to rebuild or to reopen because I was about to have a savings of 26% uh, although I have already set aside for an investment I'm also happy because I was able to do the savings which is I'm so proud I'm so happy guys. so that's it that's how it looks like guys with this money manager so I'm happy that I was able to know about money manager because it helped me to monitor where my money goes how much I've been saving I'm spending the most so at least I can make an adjustment for the next month go back to our regular video and let's go so, back so yun lang guys hopefully nagkaroon kayo ng idea or nagkaroon kayo ng kaalaman guys kasi for me for you to be an effective business owner or a young entrepreneur or an entrepreneur guys is you need to be able to manage your finance your personal finance first kung isa ka sa mga taong hindi ka ano alam kung paano i-budget or i-handle yung mga finances nyo, then hindi nyo din kayang i-handle yung finance ng inyong magiging business. And it's one of the factors, it's one of the most important factor that you are a very good finance handling kasi if ever that you fail to handle your finance in the personal, you may be also mishandle the finance in your business. Yun yung sistema na nag-workout sa akin, guys. And hopefully, if kaya nyong i-apply or kaya nyong gamitin ito sa inyong budgeting and finance tracking method, is hopefully maging malaking at tulong po sa inyo ito para makapag-save up at makapagsimula na mismo ng inyong negosyo. So, that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate for watching this video and hopefully I will be seeing you in our next video. Don't forget to like, share this video sa mga friends and family ninyo na nga ngailangan ng video na ito and tip also. I will see you on our next video. Bye guys!